Have you ever had uh, somebody <clears throat> tell you that you're doing something the hard way or uh, you're overanalyzing something or you're making it too hard or this, that, or the other? It's a lot simpler than this. Why are you, why are you doing it? Why are you doing it the long way? Why are you doing it the hard way? Whatever. Well, have they ever considered that perhaps the individual they're talking to who is overanalyzing or doing it the hard way, that's the way they do it? Apparently not, because people have been telling me this all my life, that I am doing things the hard way, that I am overanalyzing. And when it comes to the overanalyzing thing, I'm going to tell you this, you know, sometimes... Well, okay, if they tell me I'm overanalyzing, I could just turn right around and say, well, you're underanalyzing. You're not analyzing enough. You think it's too simple. And the fact is, is that both of us can be right. We're not necessarily wrong either, which is funny. It's all perception. And perception is based on your own reality. Let's say, for instance, there's somebody you know who is fantastic at math they have uh, always been incredibly good at math. Ever since they were a kid, they have, they, you know, they've gone through all sorts of college courses. Maybe they're a mathematician in, in, in a career path. Um, they know all sorts of crazy motherfucking math that you never even thought of considering. And they can use it in their everyday life. Because I'm going to tell you right now, the more math you understand the more you can use in everyday life because you're going to find ways of using it. Now, let's say this particular person um, is standing next to another person who's only known, who's only learned addition and subtraction. And they both have to deal with, they, have, they, they both have to solve a problem that relatively easily would be able to be computed with... Um, general multiplication. Let's say uh, figuring out how much money you're going to make in a week if you're getting paid $10 an hour and you're working eight hours a day. Well, most people of any age group that might be listening to this or any age group really at, uh, past 10 for the most part would be able to know that you're going to make 80 bucks in a day. And if you're working, you know, five days a week, then you're making $400 in a week. Now, the person who has the math, uh, who is the math genius, who, you know, has multiple levels of calculus and, you know, understands logarithms and algorithms and the like, he's not going to have a problem dealing with that kind of math. And it's going to be, he may even consider it beneath him to try to learn or to even try to accomplish something of that nature. It's like, why are you asking me to deal with such shitty levels of math? I mean, I can do so much more. I, I, why do I need to waste my time doing this? Well, really, why would it be a waste of your time doing it if it's so fucking easy as well? So, you know, that's uh, that's a counterpoint to it all. Um, but, and just for anybody uh, who doesn't know, I'm in my car. That's why, you know, noises and such are as they are. But, with... The individual who doesn't have that much math, they only know addition and subtraction, and let's say they're the same age. Let's say both of these people are like 25. You know, the math genius, he's, you know, managed to take every single college course in math, and he did it before he was 23. So, you know, whatever. This person is very potential. They're very potential to consider this type of math would be, they, they would, they would think it's beneath them. Edit that out, I guess. But. Both of these individuals would pursue this mathematical problem in a different manner. And the individual who has the math genius, the individual who is the math genius, would have absolutely no problem that would be done and it would be over with. And perhaps would even complain about, you know, wasting their time. Granted, how would it be a waste of their time if it takes them no time at all? It's a waste of nothing. So, however, with the other individual who only knows addition and subtraction, it's going to take them quite a long time to figure this out. Because 
they're not going to know how to utilize multiplication in order to get the answer down. And so anybody seeing them do this is likely to be like, well, wait a minute, you're, you're, taking, you're taking the hard way. You're taking the hard road trying to get this answer. It's a lot easier than that. Now, if it were a competition, okay, perhaps I could see how you may not want to help them. You know, because you have something to gain in that. But, you know, you shouldn't be seeing life as competition, especially if this is somebody you actually care about. Unless, of course, you don't actually care about them. And perhaps this is tantamount to the behavior and and perhaps makes a a very explicit point in people's behaviors towards me and others. The people who won't help you, who just judge you and and berate you for doing it the wrong way but don't actually want to help you learn how to do it, they see you as some form of competition. That's the only way I can see this now. And this is something of a revelation at this point, but I can't see another answer. It, it because really, it, it, I mean, otherwise you're just totally apathetic. But if you're apathetic, you have a point. You have a reason for it being apathetic. You have a reason for not helping somebody. You know, I'm something of an inactivist. I observe. Now, this is not to say that I don't help people. I help people all the time. I help people in a very detached way. However. So, that's not to say that I don't help people, and it's not to say that I am, you know, totally 100% inactive. I'm just active in my own way, of course. So, you know, I I don't know. The thing is, though, is that if you're, you know, I I, I draw these uh, experiences, or I draw these uh, scenarios from personal experiences, whether it's from girlfriends or parents or what have you. When your girlfriend or your boyfriend or your friends or your family members are the ones telling you you're doing it the hard way, but they don't help you, maybe you should question their judgment and try to determine why it is they don't actually want to help you. Because maybe they don't really care about you. That's really the only thing I can think of. You know. And, and why wouldn't they care about you? I mean, if, if it's your girlfriend and she does and she cares about you, you know, maybe you're not communicating your need for help. I don't know, but maybe you are, but maybe you're only doing it your own way. But getting back to the point, and I mean, this is all very uh, intertwined, but when, when the math genius takes absolutely no time to figure out it's $400 in a week and uh, for lack of a better word, when the math retard um, takes you know, a good solid five minutes to figure this out you're going to have a lot of judgment towards the math retard if there is no competition between these two individuals if they can help each other out, figure out the answer and, and know that the answer they have is the correct answer through their own mathematical formulation. That's great. And if they help each other out, that's awesome. Especially if you have information that can help another person. So, when people have been telling me all my life that I'm doing things the hard way... Now, I'm, an intellig- I'm a reasonably intelligent person. I am an intelligent person. I know I am. And, and I've been told this by many people in my life. But at the same time, I feel like I'm stupid as shit. And I think it's because I lack information. You know, ignorance and intelligence are not the same thing. They aren't. Anybody who says otherwise is an idiot. And they themselves, perhaps, well, maybe they they themselves are ignorant of that fact. But, and, you know, maybe that's a little humility on my part. But the thing is, is that... Ignorance and intelligence, knowledge and intelligence are not the same thing. Knowledge is simply information. Ignorance is simply just an absence of information on some level. Um, Intelligence, however, is your ability to use the information you have on hand. You know, the math retard may not be retarded at all. Maybe they have information elsewhere that the math genius does not have. You know, maybe they know, uh, fuck, I don't know, maybe they have all sorts of information regarding, 
I don't know, uh, hell, modern warfare, fuck, I don't know, I don't care, it doesn't really matter, what matters is, is that if you have information, and you see somebody struggling with that information, and you can help them, it shouldn't be a chore for you to do so. Now, if it is difficult for you to do, then that's different. But if Mr. Math Genius finds it a chore because he doesn't like dealing with math retards, well, then that means Mr. Math Genius is has a superiority complex and he's full of he's full of shit and of himself, which you know, consequently, are the same thing at this point. So. You know, maybe I'm a retard when it comes to things. Maybe I don't have as much information regarding certain subjects that I'd like to have. And, you know, these people who tell me, you're doing it the hard way. Maybe they should pause for a moment and try to help me figure out how to do it the easy way. Because if they themselves won't do it, the only thing I can then conclude... Well... A couple of things. One, either they don't give a shit, they don't actually care, and all they want to do is judge me and make themselves feel better, or they don't actually know what they're fucking talking about. They are full of shit and are essentially worthless anyway. So, you know, have fun with that. <laughs>